I'm using up some card base scraps, making some bokeh backgrounds. Come and see. Hello everybody, it's Julia Laird with Senior Susie Stamps. And today I wanted to uh, look at some scrap paper use. This is uh, my mini slimline card that I cut out of an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. And when you cut that card, you can only get one per sheet. So you have these two pieces left. We used this piece the other day, but today I want to look at using up that piece. And I am looking at some bokeh effect cards. Let me show you some examples. And here's a couple of them. And I still am studying ink spray. So that's what we're going to deal with today. And I hope you like these cards. They're a lot of fun. Very, very easy. Super easy to make. There's a lot of architectural structure in these cards. And they're just interesting. So let's get started. Because rather than doing circles today, I want to do flowers. And I have used two stamps. Um, this is from Petite Petals. The reason I use these is because I have matching um, punches. You can use what you have in your studio. This is an old set called Petite Petals and it's this flower. And the other one is Flower Shop and this is the one that I'm going to use. So I have gone ahead and stamped some to punch out. Uh, and I'm going to do that off camera. You don't need to see me do that. But I have this piece here that is the leftover piece from that mini slimline cut. And it's four and a half by eight and a half. So I'm going to cut this piece so that it is four by four and a half. And we'll get two cards plus a strip down the middle out of this piece. So let's get started with that. And I'm just going to cut four inches off of each side. And the reason the four and a half works instead of five and a quarter is because when I do the final mount up, I'm going to split um, the card like I did with these. See, this adds that extra um, three quarters of an inch. So, we can use this piece, and I'm so happy about that. I did some more um, stencil work the other day with spraying ink through stencil, and it worked really well. Let me see. Where did my light and a half go? Oh, here it is. All right. So, this is the way that page was. And what I'm going to do next is to stamp directly onto this page with those two stamps. And I'm going to use Memento ink. And I'm going to flip them over. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had written the uh, dimensions on that other side, so I don't want to have that exposed. So what we're doing here is filling the bokeh with flowers. Does that make sense? So then instead of having just plain white spaces, then we're going to mask that off and have flowers. Uh, I looked up on uh, Google. You know, I kind of always like to do a little research when I have these. Oh, there's a boo-boo, but I think it'll go away. I kind of like to look up on Google when we have these uh, strange words that come up because uh, I kind of like to know the history on them a little bit. And it is originally a Japanese word for blurry uh, background. And in 1977, I believe it was, the um, photograph tech technician? Photograph technician, I believe, uh, coined the term bokeh with the H on the end and put it in their magazine 
and started uh, talking about blurry effects behind photographs. And so that's how it started over into our art world and then it transitioned from photography into card making. Remember we talked about the Bargello technique and uh, how it transferred over from needlepoint and quilt making. Well, this is the same thing. It has come over from another art form. So let me go and punch these out and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back and I have punched these all out. Now, what I'm going to do is to lay these down directly on top and just lay them down in the um, pattern so that they, I should have put a piece of tape on the back of this, shouldn't I? <laughs> well, I didn't. So we're just gonna lay these right down here on top of these other ones. And then I'm gonna get my spray back out and I'm, I'm gonna mix a little pink ink spray today and I'm gonna use some ink refill because I want to try it. I've got my Ken Oliver um, sprays that I mixed up the other day that you all saw me mix up and um, we'll be using some of those but I want to try some pink ink just mixed out of the um, which one is it? Oh here it is. Just mixed out of the ink refill. So Give me just a second to get these laid down in the right spot. Okay, I think that's got everything now. Looks like this one's wanting to stand up just a little bit. So, I'm going to mix some ink, and I'm going to use Melon Mambo. And all I'm going to do is to put maybe one drop. I'll start with one because I don't want to have a whole lot of ink. Let's just put one drop in and see. I uh, use a little water in that just to make the spray like I did with the Ken Oliver. Oh, I think maybe I'll need just another drop of ink in that. there. We'll try that and see. It may be too light, but I think it's going to be fine. So, I have got my uh, gamboge and lime green from the other day and maybe some of the aquamarine blue. Let's just see. There. Alright, here we go. And the background on these definitely blurs, just like the word says. You have to be careful when you're spraying this that you spray straight down and not from the side because it blows your uh, little masks off if you're not careful. that one. <laughs> Come back here. There. Now, get those out of the way. And I'm going to pick up my little covers here. What do you think about that so far? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Now this is going to have to dry, of course. But on these pieces, let me move one out of the road here. 
I want to ink the edges so there's not a white edge showing. So I'm going to go back and harvest some of that ink that's on my mat here and ink my edges of the paper. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not, but it will make a difference in the um, process. Okay. Set that one aside and get the other one. And get that all inked up. When you split it, uh, it was really noticeable on the white circles. It may not be so much with this one because these flowers actually have some color of the black ink in them. Okay. And I believe I'll do this one too. This is uh, just an extra piece and I'll just use it to um, trim out on the inside of one of these two cards. Okay. Let me see if I can pick up a little ink with these now. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can always pick your ink up just a little bit more uh, if you want to. It adds just a little extra color pop on these. And I'll show you a card that I made with the uh, white circles that were left from the uh, cards that I showed you originally in just a second here. Oh, I like that blue center, don't you? I'll leave that one just the way it is. There. Now let me get a baby wipe and I'll wipe this up. I got some new baby wipes from Amazon Basics. They're flushable. Well, I don't like them. I won't be reordering those. They don't, uh, they don't hold up very well at all. And they're not near as big as my other baby wipes were. So I can't use them as long as I did the other ones. I use them for all kinds of things. And these are kind of a one day use. So, all right, you live and learn. <laughs> okay, let's get these cards uh, finished. I'm going to go ahead and move my little flowers out of the road here and um, set them aside and let them dry just a little bit more. Okay, I hope that's enough now to dry them out. Now, with these, they, they're going to be four by four and a half. So, I have some of my uh, first layer uh, sheets cut here to four by five and a quarter. So they will be the first layer on card. And what I want to do with these is to put them on my guillotine cutter and just cut them. Um, it doesn't really matter to me how they get cut. I just want to cut them so that I can mount them up again. And just get that now I don't want to get my cards mixed up <laughs> that would be a disaster so we're going to just cut them like that and then do one like that and then the next step is to get some foam on them so that's what I'm going to do next and this really helps with the architecture of the card it's just one more little item of interest in these cards um, that already have a lot going on for them. And we'll put this one together so I can show you how it looks. See, all along I had thought that bokeh was the white circles. Well, it isn't. It's the background. <laughs> so... I had instructional, uh, an instructional day today, Google Girl and I. <laughs> it's fun to learn something new. All right, let me put my phone away. 
Now when you put these on the first layer, you put them on one end and then the other end and uh, split the middle in the different, split the difference <laughs> in the middle. So here we go. Let's see what this looks like now. So I'm going to snuggle this right up next to the edge because this is my little guide for putting these pages down. There's that one. And then this one goes on next. I have some birthday cards to make for the nursing home birthday party for August. I was thinking I would try to make some of these, but I wanted to do some samples first and see how they look. I'm not sure, but what I think those flowers actually need a little more color in them, but I'm going to try just to do them this way and see. So what we're doing here is just splitting the difference. You follow me? And by doing that, then that four and a half piece of paper becomes five and a quarter and you can use it for your card front. So then I'm just going to glue this up onto a card base and I think I'll do this portrait style. And of course these are a two size cards. Do we want that up or this up? I think we're going to put it on that way. So this card is ready for a sentiment now. I thought I would see if there's any of those Tim Holtz sentiments that might look nice on this. Let's try this one. Wishing you all you're wishing for. I like that. Now, this being solid black, I'm wondering about putting it up on a little white liner. Let's just kind of look and see what we think here. No, I think it's going to look just fine right like that. So there's the first card done. Let's see if I can find some of these little Nouveau drops that I've got over here. If some of those would look pretty on here got some of these kind of translucent blue ones and some pinkish clear ones. I think those might look really good on it. And the red ones will stay put. Oh yeah, I kind of like those. There we go. Y'all have probably seen the video that I did on these. I use these things all the time. It just makes it handier for me because I kid you not, I cannot keep my fingers out of them long enough to keep it, to let them dry. This is really the only way I can use Nouveau Drops because I'm such a sad case about it. I can't leave them alone. I just got to keep poking at them. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, let's see. Get up here now. There we go. And this will be dry in no time at all. And they'll hold just fine. And it'll all clear up. So there it is. All right. Let's look at this other one. I wanted to show you the card that I made with the circles. And this is where I use the circle part of the mask and made another card. So I thought that turned out really cool and I'm going to do the same thing with the flowers. So what we need is a white piece of paper. Hang on one second. And it needs to be the same size four by four and a half. And let me get my flowers back. I don't know whether a single layer flower is going to be nice on this or whether they'll need to be doubled up. Let's see what we think. I don't know with as much dimension as there is on those cards with it being cut and 
mound it up. I'm going to try just gluing these down flat. And I'm going to glue them down before I cut them. I didn't do that with the um, circles. And let me tell you, that was not a plan that worked well. Let me get my mat back over here so I don't get glue all over my grid lines here. I just cleaned it the other day. It was a mess. Let me tell you that right now. That probably will be enough. Maybe. One more, you think? Let me know in the comments if you like this or not. I thought they were pretty interesting. I do think, however, that on these flowers, I may go back and add just a, just a little bit of uh, more ink to the centers with a brush because they're not quite as vibrant as I would like them to be. Okay, so I'm going to go back and trim them off now. I'm a little happy there, didn't I? <laughs> there we go. Whoopsie, come back here. I might need one more flower on that up here. Let's put this one in there. If I had thought about it, I would have made these flowers out of a piece of white scrap. But I just reached for my uh, first layer sheets instead, which is okay. Now, I'm going to cut these. And we'll see what we think. Get my foam tape back out. Trim a couple pieces up. We're having thunderstorms here today. I'm surprised the power's still back on. Because it was off for a little while. It's just been rumbling and grumbling. And believe me, I am not complaining because we have been so dry here this summer. It's been pitiful. I think I may like this one. I think it might need a few little black dots here and there. We'll see. Depends somewhat on the sentiment that goes on it. Okay, and again, we're going to do split the difference here. There it is, right there. 
and then get my ATG gun out. And I'm going to put this one on top folding card as well. I like to use top folding cards when I'm trying to photograph them because they photograph a little better. That's something I really am going to try to work on this next year is getting my... Let's see, I think I like it this way better, maybe. Mm, yeah, I like it that way better. Oh, I like this one too. Do what you love and love what you do. That's the truth, isn't it? I remember when I was working. I enjoyed working, but I really, really enjoy what I'm doing now. How about this one right here, I think? I'm going to straighten my card up so I don't get it even, uneven. Going across that way, maybe. Now, I may completely mess things up, but I want to get my little fine paintbrush here and a stamp block. some paint. Maybe I'll try a little bit of that pink that we just mixed up. Normally I dilute, but I'm not going to this time because it's already diluted. See, if we were doing a live, you could tell me whether you like this or not. <laughs> oh, I'm scared to do a live, y'all, because it's just me, and I'd probably be a total spaz. But it would be fun, wouldn't it? I think it would. I may work my courage up for that. I doubt it, though. Don't hold your breath. Oh, I kind of like this pink. Let me know in the comments if you like the pink. I think that's going to be pretty. Glad I did this. I was thinking on those other ones, I might take a gray marker and come back in around the outline to kind of lift them just a little bit. And I'm going to use the um, punched out negative image to help with that I think I may do that we'll have to see in just a second I think these are pretty well flowers I'll have to try this technique again with the spray over on uh, images like this. I think it adds a lot to, you know, just plain white or just a solid color. So many times in nature you don't ever see a solid color. Alright, now let me stop before I get too much gone here. Oh yeah, I kind of like that. And that little blue dot there really shows up now. Alright, let's see on these. I, I'm going to try it on that other card. I'm afraid to do this one because I think I might screw it up. I'm going to do the other card and then I'll show you in the end. You don't need to watch me put it together because you've already seen me put two together. I'll be right back. Hang on. Okay, I've got all the cards finished now, and you can see this one I put I put some yellow, the gambage ink in there, but I also put a little gray. Uh, where's my pen? This is, uh, I have no idea what brand it is. It's just a light gray alcohol marker. I go through those like candy. Um, 
but I thought that one turned out really pretty and I think this is the one that I'm going to put no this is the one I'm going to put this little strip on the inside I think I'll do it that way and then I'll stamp the sentiment later and this one I believe I'll put on the inside of this card with maybe one of the little ones because I put the pink ink on it and then I'll stamp that sentiment later as well so I have used up all of the flowers that I used as masks and I've used up every single piece of that one strip of paper there that was left over so I feel good about that so there's the inside of that one and then I think I'll put maybe just one little one of these in this one and I have two little flowers left over I thought I was going to use them all up but I didn't I've got some uh, of the masks that I didn't use over here so I'll put them down and spray them a little bit and uh, use them on something else yay <laughs> so let me know what you think about these cards they're easy to make and you use every part of it and um, if you use these little pre-made sentiments they're like one two three and you're done and uh, uh, let me get those other ones back in here too because they were kind of fun also this is the uh, these are just some of the circles that were left that I cut up into flowers with this little punch here that's been around forever and then these are just some funky little circle cards. So have a great week, y'all, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.